Hi, Kevin and Jessica. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. And Judy, thanks for taking the time out to speak with me the other day. Now I'm briefly, oh, this is Viola with Gwinnett SEO. <laughs> I'm briefly gonna show you three easy ways that you can improve your website so you guys can start bringing in more customers. And if you're wondering why I'm making this video for you, it's pretty simple because there are a lot of business owners out there who just don't have the time to make the internet work for them and to bring in more customers. So it holds them back from hiring a marketing agency, especially seeing that they don't know who is an expert and who's not. So I found that by making these attack plans and giving them away for free. Um, some business owners do this themselves and some call me back and ask for some help. So if you want some help at the end of this video, feel free to shoot me a text message or give me a call and I could give you some help. But if you want to do this yourself, please do. I'm just trying to help as many people as I can. Now I'm going to talk to you today about content, backlinks, and citations. So first off, you guys have a pretty great looking website. I love that you have the immediate call to action up here. Um, another one here. Okay, you guys have a great amount of, in a great looking site. You know, the only thing is that Google doesn't really care how good looking the site is. They only care about the content that's on the site um, because Google's job is whenever somebody clicks on Google and they decide to, for example, click in Junk Removal Atlanta, their job is to put them in front of the website that has the most words on it. And the average website on the front page of Google has approximately 1,500 to 1,800 words on it. So you guys definitely want to uh, increase the content on the home page of your website. Um, so that way you could become a more authoritative site in Google's eyes. And that will help you move up the rank a little bit as well. Now, let's go back to that Google search, for example. The next thing I want to talk about are citations. So usually people bypass the ads, whether that be because of ad blockers or just bad experiences. But... They do stop right here. And this is called uh, the map pack or the three map or they have all kinds of names for it, but the correct name is citation. And basically all it is, is your name, address, and phone number listed in different directories throughout the web, such as uh, Yelp, Yellow Pages, Facebook, um, uh, White Pages, et cetera. I mean, you get the idea. And the strategy here is to find out exactly how many citations your, your top competitor is and put yourself in those same exact citations for example if they have 10 put yourself in those same 10 and then add another 20 30 40 on top of that 10 in order to beat them because you want to make sure you're far surpassing them because nine times out of ten when somebody clicks on something on google they don't go past the front page they pretty much stop right here to see what it is now i'm going to talk more about this organic section and this is the third thing i want to mention to you guys and that is backlinks so you guys have a pretty decent amount of backlinks. Um, right now it says here you have 62 websites referring back to you 773 times, which is pretty good. Um, I do wanna mention though that not all backlinks are created equal. Um, basically all a backlink is, just in case you don't know, is uh, site A pointing to site B, telling, sending power to site B and allowing it to get more traffic to it essentially. Um, now, for example, let's say uh, you guys did some work for a pizza shop and the pizza shop decided to give you a backlink. Well, Google's obviously gonna recognize that you guys don't sell pizzas for a living. So it's not gonna be as high as an authoritative backlink as a backlink that has something to do with dumpsters or um, junk removal, etc. So although not all backlinks are equal, I want to go ahead and show you guys a competitor that I pulled up. This is Stand Up Guys. Uh, they're one of your top competitors, and I put them in the same tool that I use called RFs. Let's go ahead and take a look at their overview and what it is that they're doing. So the strategy here would be to jump into their backlinks. Let's take a look at what works for them. Um, for example, they're in Yellow Pages here, Small Biz Trends, and the list goes on. I would simply go into the same exact directories that they're in. And just as the citations, add another 10, 20, 30 on top of that. And then you'll notice that once you beat them with the content and you beat them with citations and you beat them with backlinks, you're gonna start winning over uh, their clients. And you're also gonna start winning over some of this traffic, $10,000 a month approximately. And this is just from their website and their Google searches. So. Here you go, guys. That's pretty much all I have for you today. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. And if you don't mind, I appreciate you at least give me some feedback on it. Let me know if this was at all helpful for you guys. Um, again, my name is Viola and I am with Gwinnett SEO. You guys have a great rest of your day.